Hello everyone, it's my pleasure, along with members of the Los Angeles City Council and the City's Commission on the Status of Women, to welcome you to the 32nd Pioneer Women's Awards Ceremony. It's been my distinct honor to work with incredible female leaders, like this year's Pioneer Women honorees, during my time in office. For 21 of those 32 awards, I've been right here. But as mayor, early in my first term, we issued the city's first executive directive on gender equity, requiring every city department to collect data, create a plan, assign a point person to help implement it, and then report back on their progress every year. And I'm so proud that under my administration, the city finally achieved equal representation in leadership roles, reaching gender parity on its 41 boards and commissions for the first time in LA's history. Over 45% of the general managers I appointed, over half of my deputy mayors, have been women. These are important thresholds. And together, these women lead city departments. They design and approve policies that affect many aspects of the lives of Angelinos. So it does make a difference that this work is done by people who understand deeply the dreams and the needs of women and girls. This work has made us stronger, it's made us smarter. And for the past 32 years, the Commission on the Status of Women, along with the Mayor of LA and Los Angeles City Council members, have celebrated and uplifted courageous female leaders through the Pioneer Women Awards. These 20 women selected from all areas of the city are champions, bettering the lives of women and girls in our great city of angels. And this year's theme for the Pioneer Women's Awards is Disruptors, Women in Action. And the two women that I'm putting forward are exactly that. I'm honored to introduce Kelly Bernard to all of you, a tireless city leader and one of the pioneer women from my office. Kelly has a long history of public service. She was my director of economic development and planning when I was first elected to office and served in the city council. When I was council president, Kelly ensured multiple key economic development projects made it across the finish line, including the Emerson College satellite campus in Los Angeles. With multiple successes under her belt, she went on to lead the Department of Water and Power's economic development projects and also its clean technology initiative. These made a huge difference in our city. So when I became mayor, I was lucky to invite her back to serve as deputy mayor for the Office of Economic Development, where she championed business growth, economic development, raising the minimum wage in our city, reducing our city's tax, making sure that we are able to build more housing, and just by raising the minimum wage to $15 an hour, she helped us lift more than 600,000 Angelinos out of poverty and increased pay to 49% of the female workers in our city. She now works as the managing partner in Los Angeles at Lighthouse Public Affairs, working on statewide issues and bringing more than 20 years of invaluable experience to our city. So it's with deep pleasure and honor that I nominate Kelly Bernard as one of the pioneer women of 2022. Next, this pioneer woman is a champion, a superhero, Jessica Colosa. She joined my office from the Obama administration, having led the Department of Education's policies on gender equity and working on numerous other priorities in the administration. She served as my director of scheduling, one of the most critical parts of any office, until she made history and I appointed her as the first Filipino American on the Board of Public Works, overseeing more than 5,500 hardworking city employees, providing those core city services that you depend on. And even in those two demanding roles, she was constantly building bridges between my office and the immigrant communities of LA. Recognizing the need for the city to be more proactive in providing language access, Jessica created a language access working group that began the work that culminated in Executive Order 32, where we strengthened language access across all departments throughout the city. Given her track record of uplifting Angelinos, I am proud of her new role representing LA and now all of California as the Deputy Chief of Staff for Attorney General Rob Bonta, where she is ensuring that the needs of Southern California are well represented in his office. So it's with deep pleasure and honor that I nominate Jessica Colosa as one of the pioneer women of 2022. Congratulations, Kelly, Jessica, and to all of the pioneer women on your well-deserved honor. For more than two decades, I have loved seeing the very best of Los Angeles at these awards, and I can't wait, even when I'm no longer working at City Hall, to see future chapters written together as well. Hello, everyone. I'm Councilmember John Lee of the 12th District here in the city of Los Angeles. And every year, I get 
the honor of nominating someone who has made uh, an impact on our community in a positive way. Uh, this year, I'm so fortunate to be able to nominate someone who not only does such amazing things in our community, but is also an incredible friend of the office and someone who I consider a close personal friend. Kelly Madison is our nominee this year for a Pioneer Women's Award. And I could go on and on about her many, many accomplishments, whether it be her involvement with the PTA or involvement with um, Chambers of Commerce. Uh, I could, like I said, the list is so incredibly long. Uh, but again, I'm so proud to be able to nominate her well, let's take a look at some of her many accomplishments. Kelly Madison has been a longtime staple of the Council District 12 community and someone that I am proud to call my friend. For this year's Pioneer Women's Award, I am happy to nominate her for her kindness, dedication, and seemingly endless passion for our community. Kelly has been volunteering in our community since she stepped away from her career with the Walt Disney Company. Kelly then soon then got hooked on volunteerism when she became a parent delegate for the Latin American Civic Association Head Start program, and from then has joined and started countless organizations aimed at advocating and enriching the lives of our students. When Kelly's kids started their education, Kelly quickly joined her local PTA and was tasked with chairing the local Family Fun Day event. She successfully managed for many years this event before she became the PTA president. And since then, Ms. Madison has twice served as the PTA president for Beckford Elementary, Nobel Charter Middle School, and Granada Hills Charter High School. Kelly has also been with the Northwest Valley Council PTSA as their president, the 31st District PTA Dinner and Fundraising Chair, and sat on the California State PTA Board of Managers, working on communications and family engagement. She has cherished those roles so much that Kelly's license plate literally says, PTA Mom. Her advocacy for children has led her to get involved with many other incredible programs that share a similar theme, including being the Girl Scout leader for Troop 1506 for 13 years and helping mentor and grow the already impressive talent of kids who participate in the Granada Hills Charter High School role. RoboDocs program where she is affectionately known as Mama Docs. Beyond her volunteerism, Kelly has successfully managed to incorporate her personal passions into her professional endeavors and worked as a college planner helping teens and their parents make the right decision about their future. And as the fundraiser and office manager and at, at Camp Bravo and currently as a proprietor of Your Day Event Planner where she helps couples bring their wedding vision, come to life and shares in their milestones, something that she considers an honor. I could not be prouder to nominate this outstanding woman who is undoubtedly one of the reasons why our schools and community are so great. Giselle Tanji has long been active in the entertainment industry with over two decades of TV experience in both the Asian and American market. Primarily recognized for her acting in film, television, and TV in the Philippines, winning several awards and nominations for her work. Giselle is also a writer and a producer. Her past work includes the short film Pinoy Greece, Pinoy Tango, as well as the Balik Bayan project with the Bascos a 13-part travel series about a second-generation Phil Lam family's experience in the Philippines. As a social media producer for Rappler.com, Maria Ressa tapped Giselle to produce lifestyle, theater, and entertainment packages. For three years, she expanded the only daily talk show for Filipinos living in America called Kababayan Today on LA18 KSCI to reflect Filipino culture and community. She most recently associate produced America at Jason with the Skylight Theater here in Los Angeles. Giselle is a graduate of the University of California with communications degree and double minor in film and theater. She has actively participated in or hosted many events and fundraisers in the Filipino American community. Her personal goals have always been aligned with melding her own bicultural identity. Growing up in the Philippines and America, 
has given Giselle a unique perspective, allowing her to value the importance of her roots. Giselle has a master's in nonprofit management from Antioch University, Los Angeles, and continues to serve her community through her executive director leadership with the Philam Arts and Culture space. I am honored to recognize Giselle G. Tanji Walters as our Pioneer Woman of the Year for the 13th District. So hello, I'm Councilmember Bob Blumenfield representing the communities of Canoga Park, Reseda, Winnetka, Tarzana, and Woodland Hills. And I am very proud today to recognize Jenna Haas, who is the president and CEO of One Generation, to recognize her as the pioneer woman for Council District 3. For those of you who don't know One Generation, shame on you. One Generation is an amazing organization in our community, an organization I've, I've known for more than a decade uh, as a council member, as an assembly member, even before that. Uh, they're an organization that enriches the lives of older adults, children, and families throughout the San Fernando Valley using their unique intergenerational program. Jenna is someone who is passionate about developing community-based programs, grant writing, and especially serving the most vulnerable of our community. I've been inspired personally by her and seen firsthand uh, her in action on many different occasions throughout the year. From intern to case manager, to director of strategic initiatives and community-based services, to now president and CEO, Jenna knows the in and outs of one gen more than anybody. And I especially want to recognize Jenna for her leadership during COVID-19, uh, during this pandemic, through her team's efforts, food delivery services for homebound individuals increased exponentially. Food pantries were created. Thousands of homebound seniors received COVID-19 vaccinations. Lives were saved. Uh, they did an incredible job. Also, from supporting local artists and allowing for a mural to be painted on the One Gen headquarters in Reseda, to providing outreach services to unhoused community members and more, Jenna's unwavering commitment to service is evident. And she does it all. And on top of doing it all, she is mom to Maddie and now Skylar. So Jenna, congratulations for being Council District 3's Pioneer Woman of the Year. You have earned it and so much more. Thank you for all you do. Thank you, Council Member Blumenfield, uh, for this um, amazing honor. I um, was shocked to hear that I was selected. <laughs> I know there are some incredible leaders in our community, and I just feel honored to be able to um, take part in creating an impact for, like you said, our most vulnerable. Um, you know, I wouldn't be able to do the work that I do without uh, an incredible team at One Generation, our board of directors, uh, executive leadership, and our staff and volunteers uh, commit their time and energy and, and heart to uh, serving our older adults, families, and children uh, throughout the uh, third council district and the city of Los Angeles. So uh, thank you very much. I look forward to continuing to work with, uh, with yourself and our community partners uh, to continue to create uh, these impactful programs uh, for our communities and make the uh, third council district a, a better place uh, for our older adults and our caregivers and family members. And um, thank you. Thank you so much. It's an honor. Hi, everyone. I'm Council Member Nithya Raman, proudly representing the 4th District. And this year, I am so excited to introduce you to our pioneer woman, a woman who really exemplifies this year's theme. From helping teachers find their footing in the classroom to keeping parents and students engaged and invested, my nomination for Pioneer Woman, Principal Judy Goitia of Newcastle Elementary is always in action. At the beginning of this year, I welcomed part of the wonderful neighborhood of Reseda into my district, and Principal Goitia immediately and enthusiastically offered her knowledge, her connections, and her partnership in bridging the gap between our office and her community and bringing us directly to our new constituents from helping us spread the word about food banks, about movie nights, and connecting us to her incredibly engaged PTA, she has been a force to reckon with. Her generosity, responsiveness, and commitment to service and community is ingrained in everything that Principal Goitia does, leading the way in investing not only in the students of Newcastle, 
but all the extended faculty and community members that are connected to them. Her dedication has been evident through 18 years with LA Unified, working primarily with elementary age students in literacy development, math, technology, and early enrichment opportunities, and in her decision to seek a master's degree in education administration. She's brought her full range of experience to Newcastle, where she prioritizes bringing parents, staff, and community sources of support, including our office to the table, to help ensure all students and their environments are happy, healthy, and thriving. Her door is always open, and she creates a safe and welcoming space for all. I couldn't ask for a more valuable partner than Principal Goitia in ensuring our district is an inviting, inclusive, and thriving community. She is a true woman in action. Hi, I'm Councilwoman Monica Rodriguez, and I have the distinct honor of recognizing a true disruptor, a woman in action, by the name of Irene Tovar who is an incredible icon for the Northeast San Fernando Valley, who has contributed so much to not just our city of Los Angeles, but to the state of California in so many pivotal roles. And with her work that has earned her a distinction and honorary doctorate from her proud school of Cal State Northridge, I'm proud to present Ms. Irene Tovar, pioneer woman from the seventh district. Hi there, I'm Councilman Curran Price. And today I'm here with Odelia Romero, a recognized District 9 Zapotec leader of an indigenous-led organization. As the co-founder of Cielo, Odelia focuses on removing language barriers standing in the way of indigenous migrant communities. Cielo also advocates for cultural preservation and works to reduce gender-based violence. This local nonprofit was a crucial partner of the District 9 community during the height of COVID-19. Under Odelia's leadership, Cielo conducted outreach and increased access to the vaccine, ensuring that no one was left behind. Together, we supported indigenous communities distributing hot meals and pantry boxes to neighbors. Most recently, we hosted a community cultural indigenous dance event at South Park, which united people from all walks of life. It's my honor to recognize Odelia Romero as a community champion, coalition builder, and a devoted humanitarian. And she's this year's CD9 Pioneer Woman. Thank you, Councilman, for this uh, Pioneer Woman Award. I am super honored, excited for the recognition, but also because this recognizes the existence of Cielo and recognizes as indigenous people from the Americas here in LA County. Hello, I'm Vicki Curry, Vice President of the City of Los Angeles' Commission on the Status of Women. It's my honor today to present our next Pioneer Women's Award to Karen Cormier, the resident engineer overseeing the construction management team of the Bureau of Engineering's Sixth Street Viaduct Replacement Project. Karen is a civil engineer with multiple degrees from the University of California at Berkeley. She joined the international engineering firm T.Y. Lynn in 1984 and has spent her career literally building bridges across the U.S. from Delaware to Hawaii. With this Pioneer Women's Award, our commission recognizes her amazing talents and contributions to breaking down barriers for women in science and engineering. Congratulations, Karen. Hello, I'm Irma Bernard, Commissioner on the City of Los Angeles, Commission on the Status of Women. It is my honor to present the Pioneer Women's Award to Tanya Panetta, Director of Gender Equity with the Office of Mayor Eric Garcetti. Tanya is being honored today for her dedication and commitment to helping city departments develop innovative policies, programs, and initiatives to move the needle on gender equity. She recently led the city's fourth round of gender equity actions plans that covered 40 cities and departments and 50,000 employees. Additionally, Tanya supported Los Angeles' involvement as a founding city of the City Hub and Network for Gender Equities Change, an international network of cities committed to advancing gender equities. Tanya not only facilitated Los Angeles' participation, but made meaningful contributions to the network's charter that was developed alongside the other founding cities to support cities' ability to collaborate effectively, share best practices, and demonstrate sustainable and data-driven results. Through her work, she epitomizes the spirit of the pioneer women 
and I am proud to present this award to her. Hello, I'm Nancy Rubin, Commissioner in the City of Los Angeles Commission on the Status of Women. Each year, the Pioneer Women Awards gives us an opportunity to honor the women trailblazers who champion equity, gender equity in our city. On behalf of the Commission on the Status of Women, it is with great joy that I offer congratulations to Sonia Posse, who has been selected as a 2022 Pioneer Women of the Year. The Commission adopted the theme, Disruptors, Women in Action, as this year's Pioneer Women's Award theme, a most fitting award for an amazing community woman that has raised the bar for her outstanding work. Sonia Posse is the founder and CEO of Free From, a Los Angeles-based organization with a unique mission, which includes creating pathways to financial security and long-term safety for survivors of gender-based violence. Sonia launched Free From in 2016, and since then, her work has transformed the domestic violence movement and expanded its focus on a local and national scale. Sonia has led the call to redefine intimate partner violence as a structural economic issue. Her visionary work has charted a path towards systemic solutions that disrupt intimate partner violence. And she has had a profound and positive effect on survivors living and residing throughout the city of Los Angeles and beyond. Sonia's work is grounded in the wisdom and philosophy that women survivors know what they need and how they need it. She has reached more than 25,000 people through programs offered and has provided direct services through Free From. And because of her hard work, she has successfully built a community representing 9,000 survivors. Sonia, thank you for your contributions to our city and specifically for your work in changing the landscape for survivors on a local and national scale. This award is presented to you in recognition of your accomplishments in champion gender equity. And as we celebrate this Pioneer Women's Award and theme of disruptors, women in action, congratulations to you.